Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 595 in Best Fiends. This one is called Flower Tower. It is a hard level with the goals of opening 10 crates, collecting 95 each of blue and red, all in 22 moves. You know, I've been really struggling with some of these levels and feeling a little bit down, thinking why... Why am I having such difficulty? Why is it taking me sometimes five, maybe even ten tries to beat these levels? When I used to be able to beat them fairly quickly. And I know that sometimes there's what we call a paywall in these freemium games, where uh, we get to a certain point and then, you know, they want to encourage us to spend money. Of course, I mean, they spend a lot of time and care making these amazing things. Yeah, Firepaw, I am talking about Best Fiends. And um, I realize it's because I'm not playing on a mobile device. On a mobile device, you get so many more opportunities. You get so, so many more events that give you so many more treats. But that's okay. Now that I understand that and I feel a bit better about myself, I'm actually glad that I am at a disadvantage here to most people. Because if it were super easy for me, if there were no challenge, then I wouldn't learn anything as I go. Do I wish that this had the same setup as a mobile device? Yes. But at least I'm not doing it in a way that's so much easier than how everyone else has. So, of course, I've got Edward and Bob to help me fill out my meters here. But I'd also like some, um, some bombs from Whisper and Leopold. Or, sorry, Lepoleon. So... Um, yeah, I'd like to open up some things here and break through. Let's see. Let's try to get this bomb meter filled a bit more. How about Whisper? That looks... Mm, you know what? I was thinking I was getting through some of the garland, and I didn't there. So that wasn't all that great. I know the purple looks really good, but it might be better here. And I got through some of that garland. Yeah, so now the purple's even better. And I get a bomb. And I'm through the garland. And I'm glad it's over on this side. I really want it to be over there. I have to break through as much as possible. But I have to get there first. Edward's almost filled, which is good. I'm getting a little bit nervous about this. Okay, this is what I want, right through the center. It's going to open up this board immensely. Now I've got all sorts of colors here. Now I want to collect red because here's what I want to do. I want to, oh, I can't get the, mm, I don't like that. Okay, change of plans and do this and get a bomb because the bomb can help me collect some of that red if I need some extra, and I might be able to get the red together. Now I've got this in a fairly decent spot here, so I think this is what I'm going to do. Try to come around and grab every little bit I can up here. I can't quite do that down here. I can grab one, two, three, four, five if I go this way, or one, two, three, four, five if I go this way. I might hold off again. I don't know, I only have nine moves. But if I bring this down just a little bit further, I'm in a better position. Now I might be able to do something with this red. Yeah. See, this drops down just a little bit, and it gets me even more access to blue. And then as I take this out, this is what I was talking about. This is what I want to do. As I take out this blue, I'm going to be dropping the red into a better position. Now I get an entire meter filled and now the red is dropped down now i can use the red it's not in the best spot is it it's not going to get me a full meter but it is going to drop down some of these cages and it is going to drop down this meter for me i just have more blue than any red on the board but I don't have enough to get a full meter this time, so I'm going to play around a bit here and see what else I can do. Ah, I really took it all the way around. If I take out the red, I get another red meter. 
And maybe a little more blue comes together. Maybe not. Okay. And I can't reach all of the blue that's there. So it didn't help much with my idea of trying to fill that. But I am still looking at this bomb as being helpful at some point, right? I've got this. Oh, that looks pretty good. I think I can get a full meter this way. I have to be careful and try to grab absolutely everything. And then I've got this little tail here. There we go. It gets a cage. It gets a lot of red. <sighs> this poor thing. Not much help, huh? But if I just set it off here, it will get me Edward's bomb. Hold on, let me do it this way. That doesn't help. I was thinking that maybe I could reach the cages. I can't do it all, can I? I can do a lot. I can't do it all. Okay, I've got some tails over here, over on this side. So I'm trying to, I have one there too that I'm not going to be able to reach. All right, all of the red I ever need or want on the board, gone. You know what? I don't have to get those cages gone. I can get this done. All I need is 15 blue and one cage. And I have got the opportunity here. That feels good. That one cage will come down with that blue. So that's nice to know that I don't need to clear out everything. If I don't get the garland gone, then I can still get this done on the first try. And it's a hard level. Yeah, I'm happy. And I'm going to, you know, keep trying to keep that positive attitude and know that every time I play, win or lose, I'm learning. That is it for me. Well, let's go ahead and use the keys, actually. Let's auto open because we do still get some benefits. We get some fun things showing up. All right. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.